Dion, thank you for joining us. Um, after another positive result against Tranmere last weekend, we head into a tough test against Grimsby. Can I get your thoughts and into that one? Yeah, uh, obviously um, good performance from us on Saturday against Tranmere. Uh, disappointed to concede the two goals that we did because we felt uh, we dominated the game um, and played a lot better than Tranmere and didn't really... Uh, the the scoreline didn't really reflect how the game planned out, but um, they can't be crossed with the three points. And um, obviously now we've had a good week leading up uh, into the game Saturday, and everyone's uh, looking forward to it. And hopefully, can get another three points. Yeah, just want to touch on it from a personal level for you. This is the first time we've spoken to you since you've sort of come back into the side after not having a pre-season. How's it been? How have you been finding it so far? Yeah, uh, obviously very tough when you don't have a pre-season at all. I think it was four or five days. Um, so yeah, obviously played the first four games and they went really well um, as a team and uh, myself I think, but I uh, had a small little issue with uh, my calf, nothing major and just had a couple of weeks out and then obviously was back in Saturday, um, was desperate to get back and uh, feeling, feeling fit and strong and obviously just going to get fitter and stronger as the season goes on um, and looking forward to Saturday definitely. Yeah, and I suppose it made you even hungrier to get back into the side, seeing how we were playing. We've been playing some great stuff. Obviously, you've worked with the gaffer before, and I suppose it's no shock to you, sort of, you know, how well we're playing, is it? Yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely not. I think that was the big thing um, last season. Obviously, I was speaking to people behind the scenes, and obviously, I was saying we need to get the gaffer in anyway, because obviously, I know how good he can be. Um, and that was a, a big part of staying up, because I knew that if we stayed up last season that this season could be a very special one um, and obviously everyone writing us off at the start of the season um, was a, I think it was a good thing it didn't really put any pressure on the new boys coming in and um, it's just kind of put uh, just made us want to kind of prove every, everyone wrong really um, and we've started off really well I think we're playing unbelievable football and hopefully we can just continue this form yeah, and obviously Saturday we saw you move up the pitch slightly into sort of Jay Williams' role as he was suspended. But in terms of you know the defensive back line, we've had a lot of you know incomings this season. You know most recently Lawrence as well. How have you found it been playing with them? You know, in with the back three. Yeah, uh, everyone that's come in has done really well. Um, obviously going into midfield last week was a bit different to Jay's role. I didn't he didn't really want me to sit back into the uh, the back three as it was. So um, that was. That was quite nice with the possession that we had last week. Obviously, to get on the ball a lot um, and going through all my stats and everything, it was it was a, it was pretty nice to play in that role. Um, but obviously, we've had a lot of different kind of uh, players and faces playing in the back line this year, and everyone's done really well when they've come in. I obviously enjoy it. That's where I'm. That is my position. So um, there's a lot of competition for places, which is a good thing and healthy thing. So. Um, the boys have got to keep working hard in training, obviously myself, and um, that just helps us uh, play better on a Saturday. Yeah, we just spoke to the gaffer and we spoke about, obviously last season was a tough one in terms of performances on the road. You know, we finally picked up a couple of wins towards the you know, tail end of the season. You know, how important is it and you know, how much is it on the lads' minds to sort of get one early this season, you know, kick on and as you say, hopefully have a great season? Yeah, I think so, but I, I, I said this in a meeting the other day, it's a completely different team, it's a diff different squad. Um, so I don't think that should be in the back of our minds. Obviously, uh, I think the stat is we haven't won, or the the like the ratio isn't great from this year since the gaff has taken over, or even the start of even the start of last season. But um, last season is last season, and this season is completely different. And we're I, I feel we're a, a ten times better side. Um, so I don't think we can worry about uh, how we're going to perform away because I, I think that the game that I played away and the boys when they've played away bar one game I think they've played very well and we've deserved a lot more than we've gotten um, so we just got to keep doing what we do and play well with the ball and um, have good transitions and be aggressive and I think that will do well for us Saturday. Thank you. Hi Dion, um, obviously with your injury and that, there seems to be a real togetherness with the squad, how, much, how important is that when you have got an injury with the squad supporting you? Yeah obviously very big, I've had a number of injuries throughout my career so I know it can be a lonely place. Um, so I think that's the, been one of the biggest things this season with the recruitment is that we've recruited obviously good players but uh, good people as well. So there's a real chemistry and togetherness within the squad. Um, so yeah, when everyone's, you can even, regardless of an injury or not, when someone's head's down, you can always see someone's either speaking to them or wrapping their arm around their shoulders and um, kind of lifting them up. So uh, 
yeah, like I said, the, the chemistry is really good and everyone's supporting each other. Yeah, and you mentioned Scott earlier. You said you wanted him to come into this club, and now, what is it about his Scott, uh, his leadership, and his management that impresses you so much? And why is he the right man? I just player? he's obviously very knowledgeable of the game. You can see how we're playing football. Um, I don't think anyone's playing the kind of way we're playing in this league. Um, and he's just a really, really, really good guy. Like you, what, what he's very straight. I've always said I like. It. I think players like it when managers are straight with them, whether it's good or bad. Um, he's a, just a really decent, honest guy, and uh, that goes a long way with in football because you don't really come across many of them. Um, and yeah, I, I just he's just a really top guy. He's always I've had a, a really good relationship at Swindon, and obviously we have a good relationship now. So um, yeah, I just is. His coaching is obviously speaking for itself and we're playing really well, so. Yeah, yeah. and um, on Saturday you go to Grimsby, you look at the table and everybody were like, okay, this is probably your favourites going into this game, but it's never as simple as that, is it? No. This league is so tight, isn't it? No, never in League 2, um, but we just have to play with confidence and keep doing what we're doing. Um, we're, we're showing week in, week out that we're playing really well, um, really good with the ball and defensively very solid, so we just got to take what we've done this week in training and take it into Saturday I'm sure we can pick up the three points yeah and we were just discussing that you're one of the longest serving players at Crawley 10 now wow that's <laughs> something it does yeah. doesn't it but um you obviously it was a really tough season this last season with mm. and you saw what five managers come through the door how nice is it just to be settled now and have that settled squad that seemed to be playing really yeah good. it was it was a roller coaster last year obviously I had a couple unfortunate injuries with concussion and I had a small little knee uh, knee surgery and then got back fit under a different manager and then I'd done my shoulder, was out and then another manager's come in, I get back fit, then another manager's come in so it's it's uh, it was a bit weird last season but hopefully um, this year we can have a, some consistency and that will show in the performances.